Hi friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad to have each and every one of you guys here today. Uh, my name is Juan and I am the Yarn Addict. So for today's video, as the title suggests, we're actually gonna be talking about a Michaels haul. It was so nice that I had to do it twice. And let me tell you why. Because when I went in there yesterday um, to do my usual pickup, I, like, I go in there every now and then and just scan their aisles just to see if I see anything new, if I see any new shades. Um, but to my surprise, like I almost fell to the floor. I walked over to the value craft section and it was completely filled from front to back, top to bottom to the brim. It was completely full. I was like, am I seeing things or is this really happening here? Um, so no, it, it was real. And I was like, okay, well, I don't really need any yarn right now, Value Craft. I have plenty, but I'm going to get more because there's a 30% off sale happening right now and it ends tomorrow. So um, I'm like, okay, well, I grabbed the shopping cart. I started pulling all the yarns down and uh, the shift manager comes over. She knows me by first name because I, you know, I used to go there all the time before they ran out of Value Craft yarn. And she said, aren't you so happy the Value Craft is back? I was like, yes, but I got to ask you a question. She's like, what? I said, um, let me grab one of these. I said, so the label changed, um, loops and threads. It, can you tell me a little bit about what you may or may not know about why all of this happened? And so maybe she was new, I'm not sure, but she really didn't have much information. Um, I just told her, I was like, I'm just happy that you guys have it. And with the sale, it's $2 and 79 cents. So that's pretty amazing. It's 354 yards for $2 and 79 cents. And it's thicker than a lot of the yarns that are behind me. And that's kind of awesome. I mean, it calls for an eye hook, but to be perfectly honest with you, I have yarns that I bought that calls for a J hook and it's the same thickness. I'm gonna get into that in a minute. Um, but anyway, I went in, I bought my yarn, I came home. I'm like, you know what? I gotta hit that sale one more time before the 30% comes off because what happens if it goes on a 30% off sale again in the future and then the shelves are empty? I didn't take full advantage of a situation while I could have, so yeah. I went today after work and I did a little bit of a haul. I bought some things. Um, and so, yeah, I, I didn't buy in mass like I normally do when value craft is two seventy nine, Um, and I'm certainly not going to waste everybody's time by going through everything that I bought. I'm just going to give you a summary of what I bought. Um, so yeah, we're going to start off with, um, Loops and threads in the pink. And let me stop for one second. So for those of you who actually ha have purchased this, um, not the value craft, and I, I keep calling it that, but the loops and threads, did you notice that they took the color names off? Now the colors are codes, VS101. So when I talk to um, somebody at Michael's, do you have any of the VS101 in stock? Is there a way you can check? Wouldn't it be just easier to say, do you have any other baby pink? <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, it would have been nice to keep the names. And, okay, now I'm confused even more. Okay, so this one here, okay, there's the VS, is that coming in clear for you guys? I'm not sure. Okay, VS 101, right? And then look at this one. Is it showing? Yes, it has light pink. I, I'm confused. Maybe that's the reason why it was on this huge delay. They couldn't figure out if they wanted to put colored names on the labels or codes. So we have a little bit of both. All right, well, anyway, I got the pink because one of my assistant managers um, loves this color. And she is a subscriber on my channel. Hi, Nala. And um, I am making her a scarf with this color. I hope I got the right shade. I know pink is her color. So I'm making this for her. All right. And then um, I got more macchiato cakes. So I got four rolls of the same color. 
Okay, I, I can't balance four rolls here. Four rolls. And the colorway here is Breathe. Now, this has been on quite a few channels across YouTube. And I already do have behind me up top there. I have a couple of the shades, but I didn't have this one. Um, as a matter of fact, let me grab the other shades so you guys can see what I have. Hold on. Um, there and here. So, okay. So I have this here, which is my absolute favorite one, guys. Um, this here is boundless and it's like all brown and like tan. I love this. And then the other colorway I have is called Solitude. It's, you know, gray, black, light gray. But anyway, let me put these back up here. Um, so I got this because purple is my favorite color. And none of the other cakes have purple in it like this anyway. Um, so for those of you guys, I mean, everybody should be aware at this point. Crystal from Bag of Day Crochet put out a new tutorial for a Cardi, a Hexi Cardi. And what I wanna do is make my Cardi with these cakes. And because I'm a Jolly Green Giant, I need extra yarn. So I wound up buying four cakes and one cake is 481 yards. So I'm hoping like 1700 plus yards is enough for my sweater. If I have any leftovers, I may put on a hood. I may put pockets. I'm not really sure. Whatever this will get me, but four cakes. It was originally $12.99. I got them on that 30% off sale um, for $9.09. .09. I mean... But, oh, and here's the other thing I wanted to show you guys. Look at this. Okay, this label here, it's a bulky five, and it calls for a J hook. Okay? Bulky five, J hook. This loops and threads, let me see, is classified as a four, and it calls for an I nine hook. Now, let me pull, let me pull out of the i here i just want to show you this because i want to know who sits behind a desk and decides what class gets what because there is no way look at this is this going to focus please focus look how thick this pink is guys and look how look at this this is a five and this is a four make it make sense please Anyway, I use a J-hook for all of it, regardless. I'm just saying, like, how about we just call this what it is, which is a four. Like, I get it. It's roving, and allegedly there's thick and thin, but when we're talking soup to nuts and we're talking the full spectrum of the situation, it's a four. I mean, in my very humble opinion, I mean, I'm only one person. I am just a yarn addict. But that is, a, 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 at most, a thick four. In either case, 1,700 plus yards is enough to do a uh, bag of days uh, hexicardi. And I'm hoping that I can, I can do it justice because I really, really, really am inspired by that tutorial. So, Crystal, if you're watching me, I love that tutorial. And by the way, while we're on the subject of Bag of Day Crochet and Crystal, I am sporting one of her tutorials on my head. Um, this one here is her Stitch Sampler Beanie. Oh my God, guys, look at that stitch definition. Okay, look. I featured it in my very first video here, but I said in the video that I couldn't put it on because I didn't want to get my hair messed up. Sorry. But it's on now. And I absolutely love it. I'm rocking the Bag of Day beanie. Oh, I love it. Anyway, <laughs> as I said in the first video, I, I did my own little take. I threw a little color in it. Um, the yarn that I used on this, sorry, I was staring at myself. Um, the yarn that I used on this is Bernat. 
Do I have it around here? Uh, I know th there's yarn here, guys. I'm not looking into space, I promise you. I'm trying to find, do I, excuse me, guys. I want to see if I have any brunette laying around. It's brunette super value. I actually ran out of this colorway because I was doing a project, um, C to C. I did, it's called the Heather's Blanket. It's in one of my other videos. Um, I did the Heather's Blanket and I love this color so much that I made this out of it my scarf i made this scarf out of it which i have shown in other videos it's just something to wear around the house when it gets chilly or in this case i wanted to show you guys i wanted to show it off so i'm wearing it and then i had a little bit left and i i was of course binge watching crystal at bag day crochet and I came across the stitch sampler beanie because in one of her other videos, she, she like in the in the very beginning, she references like what cap she's wearing, what's on the chair, and she mentioned this, and I was like, wait a second, I want to try that. So I pulled up the tutorial and I followed it, and I got to this point and I said, you know what, this really is doable. She talks about things being easy and being doable, but I, I, by the time I got to that point, I'm like, let me throw my own splash of myself into it. So I put some color into it and then just continued on and I'm in love with this cap, uh, this beanie, sorry. Anyway, long story short, um, I finished that colorway with this cap. So now, yeah, so now I have Bag Day on my head. I love it. Okay. Um, back to this. Oh, by the way, if you guys are not subscribed to Bag Day Crochet, please go to her channel and subscribe. I mean, seriously, she's the queen of tutorials. Uh, she's got 1,100 tutorials. If, if you need something made and you're not sure how to make it, almost guaranteed it's on her channel. Just go look. Um, anyway, let me hop on to this. So I was, like I said, I was inspired to do Crystal's, um, Hexy Cardi with this, but I have a backup plan in case I fall flat on my face and I don't like how it looks. I went ahead and got some of this, uh, Loops and Threads Impeccable Yarn. Now, original price $4.99, 30% off. It came out to $3.49. Again, I am a whole tree. Huge. So I was like, how many do I need? How many? Do I do it all in one color? Should I have a backup color and switch it off? Do I play with, you know, play with things? So in either case, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> I got a little crazy. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to show you how many skeins I bought for this backup sweater. <laughs> Because I don't know how many I'm going to need. I just dropped one. Hold on. I'm going to try this. <laughs> okay. Look at all these skeins. Look. Okay. I'm not going to count them. There's a lot here. That's my point. I went ahead and got all of these because I originally ordered the black online while I was at work. And I said, I'll go ahead and pick them up after work. While I'm at work, I'm like, what if I want pockets? What if I want a hood? What if I want, you know, some, some things? Will the original amount of skeins that um, I purchased be enough? And I said to myself, well, if I'm going to go ahead and get macchiato cakes, and I need about 16, 1700 yards, well, I saw online that this only comes out to 190 yards of skein. I'm going to, I'm going to need more. So I ordered more of the charcoal, by the way, I'm sorry, guys. I just go off on tangents here. This is charcoal tweed. Look at all of the things in that. I, I mean, I don't even, I'm so excited. I don't even know what to say. And then the gray. So the colors don't pop as much it's more subdued, but I think like I, can, I have choices here because I can either make a whole sweater with this or add the gray and do alternating every two rows or something. 
Um, but two, four, six, seven. I got eight skeins of this. So eight um, times 190. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I have enough. That's not even 1,600 yards. I don't know. If I decided to do all black, I, I, I know for sure I'm not going to be able to put pockets on it or a hood. But I'll be able to have a sweater. I know that for sure. So I may have to do these. Um, I got seven skeins of these unless one fell. Nope, seven. So all together, I have 15 skeins. That's th <laughs> that's almost 3,000 yards of this tweed. What shade is this? This one here is gray tweed. And then this is, this is charcoal tweed. So I'm going to have to figure something out. Like, I'm really hoping that this works. But I really like this too. I actually like this one. I like that one more than this one. But I digress. I'm just going to go with the flow and see what happens. I'll feature it on my channel as I go along. I'm sure you wonderful people will give me some feedback when I ask for it. Um, but in either case, I needed some muted colors. If you look behind me, I have a lot of primary colors. I do have some secondary and I do have some tertiary colors, but I needed some muted colors for not just my wall, but for uh, future project planning. So I have some things in the works behind the scenes and I needed muted colors. So while the sale was on, I'm like, let me take advantage of this. So I wound up getting, um, <laughs> I can't tell you the color. It's VS123. I want to say light gray. Look how thick that yarn is. Oh my God. I'm going to keep talking about the thickness of this yarn for as long as I work with it. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I'm trying to, I'm looking around to see if I can get another 4 8 yarn. I, let me do this. I did this before, but I'm going to do it again. This is Burnett Super Value, guys. And this is Loops and Threads. Forgive me a hundred times over if I call this value craft. I mean, I swear by it. Look, look at this. Can I get it closer? This second strain is throwing it off, but whatever. It, it's thicker. That's the point of the whole situation. And then don't get me started on big twist. Yes. Let me see, light color against light color. Yeah. It may not be as noticeable to you guys, but I'm clearly seeing that my loops and threads is thicker. But you know what? Let's not sleep on these other yarns. Just because these other yarns aren't as thick as loops and threads or value craft doesn't mean they're not just as good. They mean, in my eyes, they have a different purpose. As I said in my other videos, I swear by um, Big Twist when I double up. When I take two of two strands, the world is my oyster when I do this. Like, I love the feel. It gives me Burnett realness. And I know it's a far stretch. But to me, in my own world, I just get that plush feel when I double up the Big Twist. Um, and the Burnett, I don't really double that up. I actually use a smaller hook. And I do more intricate designs because, let's be honest, there's really nothing to it, but I'm reaching down here for it. I mean, it's just a cream color, right? So the only way you're going to get cream to pop is if you give it texture. And the only way to give this texture is by really playing with the yarn. So I follow suit. It does call for an H hook, and that's the hook that I use. So anyway, I keep going off on tangents, guys. I'm so sorry. Yarn gets me so excited. So I got I got some of those. Um, and then I got a darker gray. Loops and threads, of course, right? And then I got... I'm not going to... It, it's a code. Sage. <laughs> I got sage, guys. <laughs> it's sage. Um, and then I got... I keep looking. I'm sorry. This is the mushroom color. But for some reason, I don't know. When I originally picked it up, I was like, I need some uh, Aaron. And I, I didn't see any. So 
I'm like, hmm, this could be a good substitute. It's muted. It's giving me that muted situation that I'm calling for. Look, right? It's different than what's behind me. They're muted colors. That's what I needed for my project that I have planned. Um, okay, so that's what I have there so far. And I got two balls of, two skeins of carrot, two balls, two skeins of carrot. We love a good carrot situation, right? Look, carrot, love carrot. Um, so I am making one of these in the colorway fall. Um, I was inspired by Fiber Spider, and I'm I'm not committed yet, but I think I'm going to throw a little bit of this into the situation. I may not, guys, but I got it just in case. Um, I am almost finished. Okay. And then I came across this. Um, this has a color name. It's called Latte. And this is Value Craft. So they still do have some on their shelf. Anyway, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, please do. When I, I, I talk about variegated yarns quite a bit. I'm reaching down for, for my, my skeins here. <laughs> okay. And okay. All right. So this is, uh, let's see. 141 grams, five ounces. It calls for an H hook. And okay, now I'm confused, guys. Because look, am I seeing things or what? Okay, see that? It says H hook. Now let me flip it to the other side. And now it says I. Why do they do this to me? I am not sure what I'm looking at now. I don't know. One side says H hook. The other side says I hook. I, I'm, I'm not playing tricks with you guys. I swear. I'll keep this in view. That says H and then the other side says I. Sorry. I. That's so weird. Anyway, I saw these colors and I'm like, I can do something with this. I have the grays. If I decided to incorporate this with those, um, I have Bernat. Look at this, right? I'm looking at the camera there to see. I don't know, guys. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. What to make with this? Now, I will tell you, with variegated yarns, I try to keep the stitches simple because I need, I need and want to showcase the color. That's the point of the variegated yarn. You want to showcase the color. Now, you can have texture. You can have intricate stitches with variegated yarns, but you have to be strategic in how you place and how you lay everything out. So if you're asking for my advice when it comes to the different types of variegated yarns, um, keep the stitch simple. You can do intricate stitches with your solids or your ombres. Um, you can, I mean, but when it comes to things like this, what you're looking at right now should be the, the, the star of the show. That, that right there should be the star of the show. Again, it's just my opinion. You can do what you want. I mean, that's, that's the, the luxury and joy of crochet. You can make it however you want. And it's okay because it's your prerogative and that's what you enjoy. Um, but my very humble advice, when you have yarns like this and you really want to show off the color, keep the stitch simple. You'll notice the color more. Um, and the actual stitches won't be the topic of discussion. It'll actually be the colorway. But if you want to showcase the stitch... Go with a solid because the first thing you're going to look at are the stitches. And I have something to, to show you guys to prove my point. Hold on. I'm going on a field trip. Hold on, guys. I'm only right over here. Okay. So this, it's not the same lot. 
this is value craft and this is loops and threads look at the difference of color anyway whatever so anyway i was playing around with stitches right so this is my version of a stitch sampler like i was playing with all the stitches right i mean front post back post double single half double all the things right hound's tooth it's all in here anyway you're you're talking about the stitches when you first look at this you're not talking about the color and that's the point that i'm making but if i did this in a variegated yarn would the stitches actually be as prominent as you see them now no i mean it would be part of the discussion but you have to make sure, you know, you're strategic in your planning. So anyway, this, this was just a play project that I was working on. I wanted to see what my, my stitch sampler would look like. And I did this, I think last year. Um, and now a year later, I would have done a lot of things differently now that I'm looking at this because I did back loops and front loops. It was too much. Um, and when you compare it to the iconic crystal at Bag O'Day Crochet, here there's a thought process behind it. And see, that's the difference between, you know, someone who's experienced and actually knows design as opposed to someone last year that was just goofing off. I mean, look at this. It's planned out. You can see like each section has a situation going on. Whereas me, I was all over the place. <laughs> I mean... For what it's worth, it was a good try, you know? Um, again, I did this last year, and I I don't know. I held on to it because I wanted to see what kind of cap I would make this year, and now I'm doing beanies and all the things. So I've improved in my own way, you know? Anyway, my point was, yes, solids, you can play with stitches. Um variegated yarns keep it simple so the colorway could be the topic of conversation you know what i mean okay so that was my yarn haul from michael's um i wound up getting a lot more quantity than what you're seeing here with the exception of my my tweeds and my macchiato cakes but when it comes to um these I, I got quite a bit. Um, I like to stock up. So, yeah, got a lot of those. Um, last night I was working on my scarf and my fall scarf. And just in that sitting session, I went through three skeins. Um, they're, they're smaller than your solids. So it's not like it was 300 and something. I think it was 236 yards. But when you have a good show on and you're going to town, I mean, you go through those skeins pretty quickly. So anyway, um, that was my Michael's Yarn Haul, my experience at Michael's. Um, again, I'm really happy that they're in stock. Um, I know I went off on a rant before about how, you know, they're never in stock and things like that. I really hope they turn the corner because, you know, when I give back to um, charities and things like that, I like to use this yarn, not just because it's cheap, but also because it's thick and... You know, I'm, my purpose is to keep that person warm, whether it's a hat or a scarf or a blanket. And thick yarn is something that I desire when I make my projects for, for charity. So this is my go-to. Um, and then when, when I can't get this, I obviously go to my red heart. But this is first and foremost. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed it. If you have a Michaels nearby, feel free to stop by. I'm obviously not sponsored by them. I just talk about, you know, good experiences, bad experiences. It doesn't matter. I say all the things. And when I say something nice about a place, I kind of like to call them out and give them props. And this is one of those times. Thank you, Michaels, for actually having what I needed. Um, and then some, obviously, because I went kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, so that's all I have on this one. If you enjoyed this content, please hit like, subscribe, comment. I do interact with my subscribers and with those who have visited and decide, you know, you want to talk to me. Um, I do my best, but then again, as my channel grows, it does become a little more difficult. So please be understanding if I don't respond right away, obviously. Um, so yeah, so that's all there is for this one until the next, uh, <laughs> 
it's been a long day, guys. <laughs> but in either case, um, yeah, until the next one, uh, be kind, stay safe, and take care.